We love to care for these animals and celebrate each and every day with them. Are you all ready to meet some dolphins? That's great because here they are. First up, we have our one and only common dolphin at the amphitheater. She's coming to give you all a big wave hello with one of her friends who's just 18 years old and lives here with one of her sisters. They can see you, so be sure to wave back. This is Bullet and Venus. Next up, we have our oldest dolphin here at the amphitheater. At 43 years young, she is showing you all that age is just a number. So look to the glass, because this is Sandy. And finally, we have one of our highest energy dolphins. She's a Pacific bottle of dolphin wing over 500 pounds. This is Koa. We can't forget about our dedicated team of trainers who care for these animals each and every day. Say hello to our talented team. Everybody, these animals have a lot of energy and they love to have fun. So let's watch as they show us how they celebrate life. and how I can learn more to help protect our amazing oceans. 
I was fascinated with many different scientists and their mission to educate and inspire the young to learn more about how we can help conserve this planet we call home. With this drive of hope, I started my journey by going to college for marine science and entrepreneurship at Cal Poly Slow. And then I came down to San Diego and I interned with the Navy Marine Mammal Program. This is where I learned that I wanted to be a trainer. And so then I came to SeaWorld. Here at SeaWorld, we function as one big team. And as dolphin trainers, we definitely could not do what we do without the amazing support of our zoo department staff and veterinarians. Just like how we come together to care for such beautiful animals who inspire people like you all, we need to come together as a community to be more conscious about how our actions affect the wild counterparts of the species you see here today. It all starts with your curiosity about where these animals come from and what their role is in the circle of life. We all hope you see something here today that inspires you to learn more about the wild wonders of the world and join us in taking action to protect our amazing oceans and all of its amazing animals. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what you see going on behind me is a very special session where our trainers are building their relationships in the water with our dolphins. As trainers, it is one of our most important jobs to foster a strong connection of mutual trust with our animals. So we can do things like get in the water with them. This trust is so important when we are in their environment with them. I've been here at SeaWorld for almost a year now, so I am still working on building my relationships with these beautiful animals. I've been working very closely with Bullet, who's coming out right now with Andre. She is one of the smartest dolphins here, and she is a great ambassador for her species. And I would love to introduce her to my new friend, Ashley. Ashley, come on down here. You're gonna meet my friend, Bullet. So why don't you hop right up here. She is our only common dolphin. So what I want you to do is take both hands and give her a big wave. Thanks, Andre. <laughs> All right, Bullet is very, very talented. She is very good at passing along secret messages. Would you like to know one of her secret messages? So what I want you to do is take both fingers like this and you're gonna bounce them up and down, all right? I'm gonna point her to you. Go ahead, yeah, bounce them up and down. Would you like me to translate that message for you? She said, e, 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 e. Do with that what you will. Now, Bullet seems to really enjoy tactile, so I'm going to ask her to line up here for me. And I want you to reach down and give her a nice back rub. Say, thanks for coming out to meet us, just like this. You can reach right here, where I'm pointing. There you go. What do you think she feels like? Like a dolphin? Yeah. All right, you've done an amazing job, so I want you to give her a fish for me. She eats about 20 pounds of fish a day, so why don't you reach that up really high and just drop it in her mouth. Oh, no worries. You got it. Just drop it in. There you go. Good job. One more. She will love you. All right, Ashley, you've done an amazing job. We do have one little problem. I want you to come down here. I want you to smell your hands for me, all right? Just smell them. Really bad, right? So I'm gonna show you how we as trainers get rid of that smell. I want you to take your hands together, rub them really fast. Ready? Swipe on your shirt. <laughs> the smell will probably come out in about a few weeks. All right, Ashley, you've done an amazing job. So I wanna set up a photo opportunity for you and your new friend, Bullet. So I want you to face the camera, face your family, and I'm gonna have her wave behind you. So I want you to stay down here. Sorry. And face the camera, all right? I'm gonna have a bullet wave behind you and I'm just gonna get right out of your photo. Smile! <laughs> My goodness, Ashley, I had no idea that was gonna happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give me a big round of applause for Ashley and her new friend, Bullet. Back to you, Taylor. Thanks, Hunter. How are you feeling out there, everybody? on the importance of us building our relationships with these dolphins. It really allows us to know what they like and what they dislike. For example, Bullet that came and met our volunteer, she loves to be challenged. She's so intelligent. She likes to try different and multiple behaviors all at the same time, and she absolutely loves that. Sandy, our oldest at 43 years young, loves ice and loves jello. That relationship lets us, allows us to know those things and it even allows the dolphins to participate in their own health care. 
by asking for their flukes, we can get blood samples, urine samples, and we can make sure they're happy and healthy every single day. Now you guys got to meet some of our amazing bottlenose dolphins, but we have another animal that shares our dolphin home. It's time for you all to meet our short fin pilot whales. Now pilot whales live throughout our global oceans and they're close relatives to the bottlenose dolphins you just saw and our orcas over at Orca Encounter. Now the four whales we have here are rescue animals, each with their own stories and personalities. So I'd like to take a second to tell you all a little bit about our whales. Our oldest whale is 22 years old. His name is Argo, and he weighs 2,500 pounds. Now, Argo was rescued off a beach in Japan, and he joined our team here over nine years ago, where he's been thriving ever since. He lives here with Ava, Ace, and Piper, and these three were found rescued off a beach in Florida in 2012, when they were just three to six months old. And because of their young age, they were deemed unreleasable by Florida's Fish and Wildlife Commission. So they joined our forever family here at SeaWorld San Diego over two years ago. Now pilot whales have a zest for life. They're curious and playful. And one of the best ways we can build relationships with our pilot whales is through a little bit of playtime. So we hope that you all enjoy this very special moment with our female pilot whales, Piper and Ava.
such amazing animals that have fantastic stories like these pilot whales. But they're just a drop in the ocean of animals that SeaWorld has rescued in the last 55 years. In fact, SeaWorld has rescued over 39,000 animals company-wide. And last year alone, they rescued over 300 here locally in San Diego. Now, we couldn't do that without the help and support of all of you. So thank you all so much for being here today. Now, as our amazing animals make their way back out here, we hope that they've inspired you all to make a difference in the world around you. But not just for us, for generations to come. By doing simple things like reducing, reusing, and recycling, we can help keep plastic from finding its way into ocean homes and other animal habitats. Just by being here today, you've shown your love for these animals. So we hope that you'll join us in our commitment to caring for our land, seas, skies, and all of its amazing animals. <laughs>